All right, dude. All right. So um, one of the things that I've been working on is looking at uh, natural history collection records of endemical fishes. So in the Gulf of Mexico, there are, right now we guesstimate and we're pretty sure we have about 78 endemic species of fishes. Okay. Out of those 78, some were collected once, like there's a, there's a deep sea angler fish here that was collected mm -hmm. in 1954 off the coast of Pensacola and okay. never seen again. Um, there are others that were collected a few times uh, and never seen again, and there are several that were collected prior to the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill that haven't been seen since. So what I'm trying to do is a lot of citizen science work, working mm -hmm. with shrimpers and fisher folk and oil and gas folks to say, if you see these fishes, please let us know. Take pictures, put them on iNaturalist, encouraging people to like get involved with citizen science, but also so that they're not so intimidated by science or confrontational about science. So one of the things that one of the fun things that I've managed to do is this series of pirate flags. So these are X-rays. You have to love a pirate flag. Who could not love yeah. a pirate flag? And culturally, that's significant for South Louisiana too because Jean Lafitte was here and Jean Lafitte worked with the native populations to broker good deals between the indigenous folks and the, the Creole folks. And so anyway, there's, there's a complicated, great gumbo history of pirate loving in South Louisiana. So these are pirate flags of missing or rare Gulf endemic species. So when we go out on the boats together looking for some of these things, these are the kind of, these are the flags that we bear. Sweet. And so, and, and uh, are they mostly deep? Are they mostly no, reef associated? No, are they no, mud I was, associated? I was in Key West some snorkeling last week uh, in the Keys looking for a Key Brotula, <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. which hasn't been seen in the Florida Keys in over a decade. So um, they don't have to be. Some are inshore, some are offshore. Um, some of them we found. Some we found uh, working with a group of kids. We found some in minnow traps. So like little um, uh, type of uh, killifish. Uh -huh. um, so they don't have to be. It's just, you know, sometimes maybe nobody's looking, you know, but just taking that act of looking and again, using the tools of like art combined with science to help awesome. do outreach and education and kids also to inspire people about all the biodiversity and why this is such a special place. Well, you can't go wrong with the pirate flag and citizen science and uh, looking for lost species. That's pretty awesome, dude. Love it.